Hi, my name is Franzi. I'm right now at Ningaloo Reef, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Ningaloo Reef is one of the five largest coral reefs in the world. It is home to over 500 species of fish, endangered whales, turtles and sharks. The whale shark, the world's biggest fish, is what draws people to Ningaloo Reef every year. As a marine researcher, to be at this really special place is super exciting. We normally don't come to places like this, it's very difficult to get here. And of course, being able to jump in the water and look at some of the corals, some of the fish species that we don't see on the other side of the East Coast is something that I can't wait to do. The Ningaloo Reef is Australia's largest fringing reef and that means that it's directly fringing the coast here. Uh, not like the Great Barrier Reef, which is on the other side of Australia, which is further off the coast. So this is actually a bit of a marine hotspot, some biodiversity that you don't find for thousands of kilometers. We've got minke whales, we've got brooders whales, blue whales, and of course humpback whales. And then we've got lots of small fish that live in this area that we don't actually have on the other side. Ningaloo also hosts one of the world's most spectacular coral spawning events, clouding the reef with plumes of pink and red every year. It's almost unbelievable that this special place is threatened by the oil and gas industry. Woodside have left a massive piece of industrial junk that has been reported to contain toxic fire retardant just 15 kilometers away from Ningaloo Reef. Fossil fuel giant Woodside is pushing ahead with the most climate polluting project that is currently proposed in Australia. If it can go ahead, it would threaten the migration routes of whales, their feeding grounds and sensitive marine areas like the Ningaloo Reef here or the Scots Reef further north. This was magical. So many different coral, um, lots of colorful reef fishes, little reef shark underneath. And um, oh yeah, before we got in, we saw a whale shark further out. And yeah, it just makes you think uh, we really need to protect this beautiful space and ensure that it's not destroyed by a new fossil project.